Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new screwdriver that's recently arrived. Now I have opened the box already, uh, mainly so I could unwrap the screwdriver from all of its bubble wrap and install some batteries for the video. But here we have the Warmasters laser screwdriver. Very cool, very cool. So it doesn't come with a stand, unfortunately, but uh, fortunately I have a stand here. So I'll just bring in this stand here and pop this screwdriver down for a moment, if I can find, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, it comes in this cardboard box wrapped in bubble wrap. And the box has a big sticker on the inside here. Little Shop Props, the Warmasters laser screwdriver prop replica. Very cool. Uh, just pop this down here for now. So here we have the Warmasters laser screwdriver. What an interesting screwdriver this is. Very unique, very, uh, very different. But uh, yeah, so this appears in Rage of the Time Lords, which is a big finish audio box set uh, that features Sir Derek Jacobi as the War Master and Paul McGann as the Eighth Doctor. We can see them both on the cover here holding their screwdrivers, which is pretty cool. So this artwork was done by the legendary Lee Binding, who of course has done all sorts of Doctor Who artwork over the years. And yeah, so he's, he's basically the designer of this laser screwdriver because originally there was not really an original prop made, at least not looking like this. Um, so some of you may have noticed some elements from <laughs> the Transtemporal Character Options toy here, this bottom section and the end piece. So it's not exactly the same, but it is at the same time. <laughs> so it's fair to assume that this, uh, this trans-temporal sonic screwdriver toy here was probably used uh, in the photo shoot, um, possibly. You can see, do a little com comparison, the end pieces there, and this section here. But yeah, so, it's fair to assume that this was used maybe in the photo shoot um, or at least <laughs> this section here like this um, this is how we see it in the bottom here so yeah but who knows but yeah you can clearly see the resemblance there but let's take a closer look at the Warmasters laser screwdriver so do a better comparison of the trans temple you can just see the size difference there the pretty pretty much pretty similar sizes not too not too different but yeah we've got the end piece here looks like a boiler which is obviously off well it's not off but this is this is a 3d printed screwdriver very well constructed but yeah you can clearly see the different dimensions i guess i mean i can i can see it. i don't know if it shows up on camera too well but yeah and then the bottom there but uh yeah pretty cool so we've got some extra pieces you can see this section here which is very cool you can also see the little arrow which is present on that part there so, yeah, interesting, interesting. This isn't the button, this is just, uh, this is just there. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, see a yellow gem, little, I guess, gemstone or whatever you want to call it in there, um, instead of a blue one. And uh, it's a dark gray silver wash overall. And you can spot some little hex head bolts in there. Um, on the bottom there, also on this middle section, which 
We don't actually get a good look at on the cover, so obviously little shop props have, you know, designed this part himself, which is pretty cool. It looks good. Really nice button. <laughs> and yeah, going up to the back of this middle section, we've got this tube piece, which you can kind of make out on the cover. And uh, yeah, it looks, looks pretty cool. So moving up to the top section of the screwdriver, you can see it shapes in uh, to the emitter. It's got more of this yellow resin that's, well, I'm not sure if it's the same from that, but this piece and this piece is definitely the same. You can see the rod that goes through to the bottom and all the way up to the emitter section, which is a nice hex, hexagonal emitter with more of them hex head screws or bolts or whatever you want to call them in there, all the way around, going into the crystal, which is very cool. So turning to features, uh, this screwdriver does light up, of course. So we've got a nice red, possibly orange uh, LED in there. It's hard to, hard to tell from the yellow resin, but it lights up really well. Uh, obviously not too well under these lights that I'm using to record <laughs> the video, but uh, yeah, pressing the activation button lights up the LED. No sound effects, but that's that's okay because uh, you know at least at least we've got the light. That's that's the main thing. <laughs> but uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Now the very first um, replica of these, I guess, that was made by the team at Little Shop Props. They made it for I think it was a commission for Scott Handcock, and he is the director of the Warmaster big finish series so yeah pretty cool and since then his prop replica has featured in promotional material for big finish so that's that's brilliant so so these replicas here by the little shop props they are the real deal <laughs> the real deal now you can find them on etsy instagram and uh, facebook yeah so i bought this from their etsy store and yeah, I think it was in the first batch. So it arrived this week and I was pretty impressed with it, pretty impressed. So they are available to order at the moment. So if you fancy one of these, I, uh, I'd suggest go and order one, check it out on their Etsy store. I'll pop the link in the description. But yeah, this arrived earlier this week and you know, good timing, good timing really, because we've literally just taken a look at John Sims Masters laser screwdriver last month. So it was uh, good timing to get these out together, I guess. So yeah, pretty cool comparison there. Obviously this is the toy and this is a replica, but we'll soon have a replica of these thanks to rubber toe replicas. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I definitely recommend uh, one of these to a fellow collector of course and if you're a big fan of sir derek jacobi's warmaster this is the screwdriver for you for you <laughs> but yeah um thanks thanks for watching guys and uh, i guess that's it for this video so i'll catch you in the next one goodbye <laughs>